Hello, my name is Dan Dodds. I'm the principal attorney at the Dodds Law Firm in Surprise, Arizona. I've named this day's video the economic cancer of inflation. Well, what does that mean? Well, most of us know cancer is not a good thing. Some of us will survive it, some of us won't. Well, that's kind of like death. Some of us will survive this inflationary period, some won't. We are experiencing in the United States the highest annual projected inflationary rate we've seen in over 40 years. If it was just going to go away fairly quickly, then you could say, well, hey, it was a speed bump. But if it doesn't go away quickly, and almost all the lenders are saying it isn't, most all the CEOs and economists are saying it isn't, it's gonna be with us for a longer period of time than we're gonna enjoy. Then the question is, do we land softly or, or do we land with a thump? Well, most of the economists are saying we're gonna land with a thump. It isn't going to be pretty. So inflation is not our friend. Some inflation is good. Most economists would suggest that 1.7 to 2% is healthy inflation, but not 8 to 9 to 10%. That is not healthy inflation. So I learned a, a, with the wisdom of what we call failing fast so that you can fall forward. Most people fail slowly and they just hate the idea that they're going to have to file bankruptcy. So what do they do? Well, the worst possible thing they could do, they draw out their 401ks to try and pay their bills. They pull out their IRAs in order to pay their bills. That is a serious mistake because you could have $200,000 in an IRA and you're going to keep every penny of it because it's protected. You could have $200,000 in a 401k and you'll be able to keep every penny of it if you file bankruptcy. But if you've spent it all, it's gone. And your credit score is dropping faster and faster and faster. So the wisdom of failing fast and falling forward versus failing slowly and falling backward is self-evident. What's self-evident? The lower you are, the more trouble you're in, the lower your credit score, it's going to take you longer to get back on your feet than if you'd have filed up here and you only have a much smaller amount of time to get back on your feet. So I encourage you to think about that, how to fall fast by falling forward and protecting, amongst other reasons, your credit score and your IRA and your 401k. Well, I hope this information will help you and it'll give you something to think about. If you'd like to talk about your problem, feel free to set a consult.